There's a big idea at SMU's Lyle School of Engineering. You have to give students the freedom to fail and a space to do it. We call it the Innovation Gym. The Innovation Gym is a space that we have on campus and in the center of the heart of our engineering school, which allows students to come in and build stuff, to get their hands dirty, to get involved with different projects from outside companies, to come with an idea, something that they want to try on their own, to just come in here and collaborate. It's a multidisciplinary space where electrical engineers, and mechanical engineers, computer science can all get around the table, get around a whiteboard, and just tackle the world's problems. The Innovation Gym has definitely been a very, very important part of my college experience. I think the self-confidence that every team member builds down here in themselves is transferable to any aspect of their lives. You can do so much in the classroom, but you can only do so much in the classroom. What drove the idea is the fact that everyone acknowledges that innovation is one of the most important attributes that someone can have to be successful in their career today. But if you look at it, we're really not allowing our students to have the experience of failure and iterating above it. So that's something that we had to find a way for the students to fail, but still graduate. And so that's what the Innovation Gym is all about. It's one thing to see it up on a board. It's another thing to build it and reduce it to practice. They know it in a more intimate way. We weren't really sure what we were going to get. It feels good to actually see it happen. When it actually works, it's amazing. It's really important that the students are able to go after that audacious goal, push really hard and try something that they never would have if they were being graded on it. So we very, very purposely put the Innovation Gym program outside of the curriculum. There's, there are no grades, uh, there's no credit, it's all voluntary, and we've been overwhelmed with the response to that. We're students, we do think out of the box. This is a space that encourages that. We had the time. This space is open 24 hours a day. Whether I'm here or not, students can get 24-hour retinal scan access to, to this building where they can come in when ideas hit. You just have to do this right now. The signature program in the Innovation Gym is the Immersion Design Experience, an intense 10-day design challenge for a real business. Small teams, small budgets, little time. An IDE incubates creativity. I think Frito-Lay is a great example of somebody who didn't know what they were getting into when they first started working with our students. It absolutely affords the young men and women an opportunity to work on fast-paced, real-life engineering problems. They go well beyond calculating stresses and forces and moments, and they really get into the crux of solving a technical problem for a business. Quite honestly, sometimes because the thinking is very out of the box and different for us, our engineers all look at each other and think, why didn't I think of that? Right now we're in the middle of our, our summer um, IDE. We've got students working with a nonprofit architecture and planning firm to help them empower communities in Dallas by installing a sensor network. So what we're trying to do is get as much coverage of our sensor network around the neighborhood as possible. So we'll be setting up uh, nodes pretty far away from our base station and they'll hop to other nodes which will transmit hop to the base station which will eventually upload it to the web server. Our idea is to make it fairly robust which is what we're testing today. So it's basically a way to highlight different areas of the community that can be improved upon. Once a student's done an IDE, they're a different kind of learner. At SMU Lyle, fundamentally, we believe that creativity is not a soft skill. It is core to a modern engineering education. Part of being accepting of failure is knowing that it's going to happen. It doesn't mean you stop there. So if you try something and it doesn't work, you figure out why, you pick up the pieces, and you push forward. One of our casual mottos around here is this may not work. Uh, and we never think of that as an excuse not to try. We're going to continue to grow, we're going to continue to push where engineering education is going, and we're going to show that SMU students are some of the top engineers in the world. Mm -hmm.